for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding concerning your word this afternoon, Lord. Help us, God, that we don't add nothing to your word. Help us, God, that we don't add nothing to the enemy, that we won't take anything away from your word, but that we'll rightly divide your word by your spirit and by your great power. Lord, we pray for those that have coronavirus, our high blood pressure, sugar diabetes, Lord, heart problems, Lord, back problems. Lord, we take all, all this before your throne of mercy, God. You say with your strife you will heal, but your blood will cleanse, will sanctify. Amen. By your word, set apart, God. A special prayer for things that Jesus Bible says in all the members, Lord. Whatever they stand in need of, God. Whether it be spiritually, physically, or financially, Lord. That you meet every need. Philippians 4, 19 says, My God shall supply all of our needs according to rich and glory by Christ Jesus. Ever come. Philippians 4, 13 says, We can do all things through Christ that strength us. Thank you for your strength, Lord. In Jesus' name, O Lord, we pray for the president and those in the thought of Lord, Republican, Democrats, Lord. Let there be peace in the White House, God. Let there be peace in our house, Lord. Those that are not saved in that White House will be saved. Those that are not saved in our house, O God, that you'll save them, Lord. In Jesus' name. And everybody say Amen and amen and amen. Thank God. Amen. We got a message. Condition. Condition. That's the that's subject. So we got to meet the conditions to get the blessings. Uh, that's what I ought, to, ought to change that to. We need to meet the conditions to get the blessings. Once you get it, we have to meet the conditions to keep the blessings. Oh, uh, it's going to be on here this afternoon. Thank you, Jesus. Come with me. Amen. At page 526. Page 526. That's going to be Second Chronicles 2 and 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. Now, notice there are steps that God given us. I have to follow instructions. To meet this condition here. First of all, I got to humble myself. Humble means I got to come down off my high horse. Amen. Thinking I'm something when I ain't nothing. Amen. Bless God. Humble myself to what God's word says. Not the way I think it should be done, but I need to find out what God says so that I can meet the condition. Humble, humble thyself and pray. So once I humble myself, I'm going to pray. Seek my faith. So I saw seeking after God through pride. And turn from your wicked way. Uh-oh. I got to do what next? I got to stop doing wrong if I want God to hear my pride. I got to meet this condition. So that's condition. I got to meet the, all the conditions. I can't meet part of it. I got to meet all of it. I was watching the news and had a had a, a, a sister was watching it and she got angry because when she saw the policeman uh, with his knees on this man's neck and he hollering for help and, and, and the man died. Well they kept showing that on the news over and over. And it provoked provoked a lot of people. A lot of people got provoked. I said, you know, to me, look like they should have enough sense to know that you don't show stuff like that over and over to people because then the anger come up. When you get angry, I want to make this thing where you can understand. When you get angry, you let spirits come in. And the wrong spirit, you can't see them. The wrong spirits will come in you. And you start acting just like the person that did the wrong. Now, two wrong. Would you say, brother? Two wrong can't make a right. So now the people went into the people's business and tore up the business, stole their stuff, and burned buildings. Now, these people that had nothing to do with the man dying. It was one man. I said it was one man that did it. And then all these other people out there going to start doing evil because somebody else did evil. But guess what's going to happen? Well, the person that did the evil, they're going to have to be accountable. And if you out there doing evil, you're going to have to be accountable. Yeah, you're going to find out. Where is picture coming from? Both my Texas. Zip 77703. You'll find out. 
when they arrest you for tearing up people's stuff and burning up buildings. When you get locked up, you'll find out how it works. Lord, help me, help me, help me, Lord. Let me get back over here, Lord. Uh, from the wicked ways. So we got to turn from our wicked ways. The people out there that's doing things out there right now, they need to what? Turn from their wicked ways so God can hear their pride. And then the, the same young lady, I said, sister, you're a Christian. You ought to not let that stuff get in you like that. You keep looking at stuff over and over, what goes in your eyes will go to your heart. And if you ain't got no Jesus, you're going to get you some devils. And them devils going to take you and have you doing crazy things. I know what I'm talking about. Been in this 43 years, going on 44. So I know what I'm talking about. And then she, Trump come on. After, Trump, after that went all Trump come on. Now she mad with Trump. I said, sister, the Bible said, pray for those that's in authority. God give us instructions in his word what to do. You've got to meet the conditions in order to have the promises of God. If we don't follow the conditions of God, you're going to end up with something else, and it's going to be the devil. He's going to lead you and guide you to do wrong. Let me get back over here, Lord. That wasn't in the note. And uh, then when I hear from heaven, so I have to turn from what I'm doing wrong, then God's going to hear from heaven. He ain't going to hear me trying to take revenge on people. He said, vengeance is mine. I will pay, say the Lord. It don't belong to you. It belongs to God. It belongs to those in authority that God put in authority. Everybody ain't doing wrong. That's somebody doing right. You got some preachers doing wrong. You got some preachers that are doing right. You got some choir members doing wrong. You got some choir members doing right. You, Lord, have mercy, God. You got some Christians doing wrong. You got some Christians doing right. Everybody ain't doing wrong. So to meet this condition, I got to turn from my wicked ways if I want God to hear me. Now look what he's going to do for me if I follow instructions. And we'll forgive their sins and we'll heal their land. This land needs some healing. Coronavirus is not in just uh, Beaumont, Texas or Texas itself. It's all over the world. What did that tell you? I tell you God is tired of your foolishness. So he put a whipping on all nations. My God, I'm best my here, Lord. If they don't get caught up with them, Lord, they don't follow them and what they're doing wrong. They think they're right in their own eyes, but the word shows you wrong. The word of God, if you open that Bible, blow the dust off of it, you'll find out how wrong you are and what you're doing out there. Let me get back over here. Amen. I'm within those, Lord. Come with me now to uh, page 1042. Page 10. 42. Oh, it's on today. I ain't watering it down. No, we don't water it down here because you get Bible Center. We give it to you straight so you go free. Folks want the blessing of God. They want to shack up after they get the blessing. It don't work like that. Come in the page 1042. Amen. Bless God. That's Matthew. Amen. The sixth chapter. Amen. The seventh verse. But when ye pray, you do not vain repetition as the heathen do. For they think that it should be heard for that much speaking. Be ye not therefore like unto them. For your Father knoweth what thing you have need of before you ask him. Now, the Bible says we have not, because we ask not. So we have to ask. Now, listen to what Jesus Christ is saying here. Your father already know you have need of it, but this is how I want you to pray. Ninth verse. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed mean holy is your name. Ten verse. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. Is there anybody tearing up some places in heaven? Are they having rides in heaven? Are they killing people in heaven? 
It ain't happening in heaven. So he said, pray this way, that this kingdom come on earth like it is in heaven. Heaven ain't acting like that. And I'm blessing all said there, Lord. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. I'm asking the Lord to give me this day my daily bread as natural and my daily bread is also spiritual. So God is going to take care of all of me, not some of me, but he will take care of all of me. He's going to make sure, amen, I'm eating, I'm eating spiritually and I got my daily bread, which is natural bread, to eat. I ain't never been without since I've been serving God. God is always taking care of me. Still doing it now. Even with the situation going on in this world. Uh, when they told them to stay home, I was already at home. I wasn't in the nightclubs. I wasn't on the beach. Let me get back over here about that one in the notes. Uh, forgive us our debts and then forgive our debtors. So now I'm asking God to forgive me. Just the same way that I forgive you. Ain't that so? So watch out this Lord God is somebody. So in his prayer, I got to make sure what I know what I'm saying. Forgive me the same way, Lord, that I'm forgiving this person here. I got to meet this condition. And lead us not, and forget, and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. I'm asking the Lord, don't leave me in temptation because there's temptation out there. And they're living from the evil that's out there. A lot of folks act crazy when they see somebody else act crazy. They want to start acting crazy. The evil start coming out of them. So I have to pray for God to deliver from evil, from the evil that's in the people. The devil ain't got hold of them. For that is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now look at that 14 verse. For forgive man that trespassing, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. If you don't forgive the man that did the wrong, guess what? God ain't forgive you. God set people in, in, in order over that situation. He got officers, the Bible said, over that situation. So they know how to judge righteously. Let them have it and get yourself out the way before you get in trouble. But if you give man that child bastard, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not, so if you don't want to forgive, guess what's going to happen to you? If you want to forgive men that child bastard, neither will your heavenly father forgive your child bastard. God said, I ain't going to forgive you. Everybody done done something wrong. Ain't nobody exempt. You got some folks that did more wrong than others. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap, amen, for that word. Thank God for that word. Come in to page, amen, 1044. Page 1044. Matthew 7 and 21. Amen. Matthew 7, amen, and 21. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, should enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. So I got to meet this condition. I got to find out what is the will of God that's in heaven. I have to shed his word. I have to come to praise my life. I know the word. Ain't nobody can fool me. Ain't nobody can deceive me. I got too much word in me. So when I see things happening in this world, it don't take long for me to figure out what's going on. It don't take me long to figure out which direction I need to go in. I ain't following them. Not me. They had a destruction. Why does the road to destruction. Many go that way. Straight and narrow the way. And very few find that way. I'm, I'm a run with the few, Lord. I ain't run with that crowd. Look at that 22nd verse. Many, we talked about many. Many will say to me in that day. A lot of folks gonna say that to the Lord. Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied? In thy name, Lord, you remember me? I preach in your name. Uh, look, I, I went to the jail. I went to the prison. Now I, I'm breaking in people's houses. 
and I'm stealing their goods and burning their house. You don't remember me, Lord? I, I, I preached. Let's see what the Lord is going to say to us. In thy name, and that's cast out devil. Lord, Lord, you remember me? When that man came up, I cast the devil out of him. But then the devil got at me, and I got to act an ugly. You don't remember me, Lord? And then I named that many wonderful work. You don't remember me? I fed the poor, Lord. I gave to the uh, bank, to the food bank. You don't remember me? I gave, I gave that man some money to get some fried chicken. Put it down for it. And then when I professed it to them, I never knew you. That bad with the Lord. Going to profess to tell them I never knew you. It was out there doing good works, preaching. My God, hitting people. What is iniquity? It was sin while it was doing it. Lord, have mercy. You workers of iniquity, we got 24 hours, that one saved, all the saved is alive. If you out there sinning, you ain't saved. You know what saved is? You ain't doing wrong. That's what saved is. When you saved to the bone, to the marrow, you are not doing, you are not sinning against God. And you might be fighting against sin. Lord, have mercy. Because that's another condition you got to meet is put on the whole arm of God. That's a condition. Fight all against the wiles of the devil. The devil ain't going to leave you alone because you get saved. He asks you more now to get you back. Now, whosoever hear these sayings of mine, endure them. So I got to study the sayings of Christ. And then I got to be a doer of it. Not just a hear of the word, but now I got to do it. James put it this way. Faith without works is dead. So I got to put my faith to work. I got to work it. Under every little thing that happened in this world, I got to do what God says to do. Forgive. To love you. If I can't do it, I'm going to Jesus and get me some help. Therefore, hear these sayings of mine and do it then. I will, I will liken him into a wise man. I want to be wise, Lord. I'm tired of being a fool and running with foes and acting foolish. Which builds his house upon a rock. The rain descended. The floods came, the wind blew, beat upon that house, and it fell, and it fell not, for it was found upon a rock. So when you found upon a rock on the word of God, on Jesus Christ, life can beat you, knock you down, spit you out, but you're still serving God. You done got back up again. Back on the battlefield for the Lord. You ain't going to let your circumstances keep you down. But you're going to ride back up greater than you were before. What a God. Oh, it's all now. And everyone that hear these saints of mine and do them not. Now that's the one that's doing it. They ain't going down. The one that's a doer of it. Not just a hearer. And everyone that hear these saints of mine and do them not. She be likened to a foolish man with built his house upon the sand. He had sand plans. He got saved. He believed on Jesus Christ. We got some scriptures back that up that you got to meet that condition on believing. But once you meet the condition on believing, now you got to go to the work. I know man told you you ain't got to work. And that man, man ain't telling you the truth. He ain't telling you, he ain't telling you all of it. He give you some truths. With error. Like unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. 27 verse. And the rain descended. The floods came. The wind blew. Beat upon that house. And it fell. And great was the fall of it. So Christ is telling me what I got to do. I have to meet these conditions. So that way I ain't going down. Oh, you thought I'd gone down, but I'm still up. I'm still up because of Jesus Christ. 
I'm still preaching and teaching. I'm still praising God. I'm still living for God. I'm living holy without sin. Because God can do it. You can't do it. If the devil can keep you sinning, you still are trying to tell me the devil greater than God? God can stop you from sinning. Put that right. They came to pass when Jesus had entered. Hey Amen. He sang. The people were astonished at his doctrine. There was what? There was some at his teaching. They ain't never heard a man teach like that before. The Pharisees, the scribes, couldn't teach like Jesus teach. Amen. Bless God. Amen. Oh, they was watering the water, the word down anyhow. They was adding to the commandments, taking away from the commandments. Jesus Christ came and told it just like it is. That's what I like about Jesus. Amen. He's my example. I ain't following man. I'm following the man, Jesus. I, know, I feel that anointing all over my head, Lord. 29 verse. He taught them as one having authority. Having one what? He had authority. He let them know. Amen. Bless God. How this thing's supposed to work. And if you work it, it'll work for you. If you work the word, the word don't work for you. Who what a God. And not as a scribe. He didn't teach him as a scribe taught him. He couldn't teach like this. Give the Lord another hand, clap the name for the word. Thank God. I say thank God for the word. Come into page 1151. Amen. We, we, that's what we're talking about. Amen. Believing. Amen. That's a condition. That's a condition I got to meet. I do have to believe. Amen. And then I got to work my belief. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's going to be John 3 and 16. John 3, amen, and 16. Amen. John 3, amen, and 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So I got to believe on Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless God for God and not sending his son, amen, into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Salvation comes through Jesus Christ. If you believe on him, he'll save you from that stuff you all bound by right now. You ain't got to wait until tomorrow. You will alive. That indeed may be manifest, that they are wrought with God. Amen. Bless God. So we see here, amen, that God, amen, uh, folks don't want to come to Jesus because they don't want their stuff come to the light. I ain't got nothing to hide. I come out of darkness. I was in an old dark club, the nightclub. So when they when they shut the nightclub down, hey amen, I was already at home. I wasn't going on a nightclub. Christ set me free. Whom the Son set free, free indeed. I got a peace. I got a jaw. I ain't got to go to the world to have it. This jaw that I have didn't come from the world. This peace that I got didn't come from the world. It comes from somebody know me around here. Come from Jesus. So let's look at another. Let's look at now, amen, since, since I got this, amen, since I got this, I got to look at something here. Let's look at uh, 1 John, the third chapter. 1 John, the third chapter. Let's see what page I got that on. That's page 1151. Okay, uh, that, that's not the one I'm looking for. Okay, I said that's still John. I'm looking for first John. I, I know where it's at. Hey Amen. Let's just let's just go to that. I go, first John three, the third chapter. I'm gonna be page thirteen. That's it, brother, brother Mark. Thank you. Hey Amen. Thank you, brother. Hey Amen. First John three. Uh, starting at the. That's not the fourth verse. I'm gonna give you more groceries. Uh, we ain't got that much time, but we're going to run out of time anyhow. Whosoever committed sin, transgress also the law. So when you sin, you transgress. You know they got to sign. So there's transgression of the law. When you, you trespass against the law, you transgress it when you sin. But we're going to make what you can understand it. For sin is a transgression of the law. Uh, fifth verse, and you know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and him is no sin. So Christ came to take that away from me. The Lamb of God came to take away the sins of the world. So I gave up my sin. I don't want them. I, if they come to me, 
I'm going to Jesus get it, make sure that it, I keep the condition. I, I meet the condition by believing. I believe on Jesus Christ. That's my condition I got to meet. And I can't do it at one time. I wish I could do it one time and live out every hour. No, it's every day, all through the day. Look at sick man. Who said abided in him, sin it not. So when you're in Christ, are you sinning? Why, why are you not sinning? Because Jesus can't sin. He's righteous. That's it, Brother Mike. He's right. Jesus Christ is righteous, so you he can't sin. So if you sin, you don't they ain't Jesus. You might have had Jesus. Uh, somebody else is coming in there now. Get him out. Don't let him stand out. Don't let folks get you mad, angry, bitter, looking at all that junk on TV. And man can deceive you. The seven birth. Let, let the children let no man deceive ye. He that doeth righteous is righteous, even as he is righteous. My God, my God. He that committed sin is of, is of the who? So the Bible makes it a plain that when you sinning, you serving the devil. But preacher, how can I stop sinning? Meet the condition. Pray. Don't stop praying. Pray without ceasing. Man, when you know that devil attacking you, when he playing with your mind, stop watching all that junk on TV and you won't be getting angry. Amen, over that stuff that's going on out there. Count it all. You can't handle it. He didn't commit a sin of the devil, but the devil sent it from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. So when we lie, Christ will come in. We allow the word of God to feed us. Then we get strong in the word. The scripture says faith come by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. So when I meet the condition on hearing his word. Then the word comes in me. Drive all that junk I let come in. It will drive the junk back out of me. Now I'm able to forgive that person. I'm able to love that person. Because I couldn't do it before. All my feelings and emotions. Was gone everywhere. I lost control. But now Christ came in. Now I got back control again. What a God. So when you commit a sin, you have the devil. For the devil sent it from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God manifested it might destroy the works of the devil. Look at that nine verse. Whosoever is born of God did not commit sin. He can't commit sin when he's born of God. I know you ain't been taught that. It's in the word. Blow the dust off that Bible. Amen. And open the page and you'll see it in that. Amen. Bless God. Amen. He can't sin because God is in that. He cannot sin because he's born of God. He's been born again. Some people say, well, you know, I was born that way. Well, repent. Receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and get born again. And that devil come out of you. Ten vine. And this is the children of God are manifested. And the children of the devil. So you, the devil got some children. And God got some children. How the devil ended up with the children? When Adam and Eve fell in a garden. Sin separated from God. We dealt with that one day. How sin separated from God. Now Christ came. Paid for them sin. Now we can come back to God. Oh this is awesome. It's good stuff here. We got some good news. How you get back? You don't have to stay where you are, but you can come back, preacher, if you're in a backslide. You can come back, preacher, choir member. You done backslid out there. You can come back. There's a way back. His name is somebody know him around here. He cannot sin because he's born of God. This is the children of God. I'm manifesting the children of the devil. Who says they're not righteous is not of God. If you're not doing right out there and you call yourself a Christian, uh, you, you are a Christian. You ain't nothing now. You ain't doing right. Following people in the wrong direction. Because you got a lot of folks out there doing wrong. That's the wrong way to follow it because they're all going in the wrong direction. Because the scripture read and told you. The wide road to destruction. Don't get on that road with him. The best arms have here, Lord. Do not rather not of God, 
Neither that he doesn't love it, not his brother. So now I got a condition of love. I got to meet that condition. So uh, if I don't love, if I don't keep the commandment of love, then God, Lord have mercy, going to have to deal with me. I have to love. I ain't got no choice in this matter who to love. I hate evil, but I love the person. You have to have some God to do that. You can't do this yourself. You have to hate the evil the person did, but you got to love the person. That's when you got God in you. Because God is love. Love and pride. For this is the message that you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. That's the message that we heard. So if I keep the love of God in me, when all things are breaking loose out there, if I keep God loving me, guess what? Hate can't get in here. Bitterness can't get in. Revenge can't get in here. My God, my God, my God. Love of black and all. Love says so you can't come here. Burn, burn. Now this Cain, who was, who was the wicked one, and slew his brother. And, and wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil, and his brother was righteous. Cain worse was evil, his brother was righteous, so he killed his brother. His brother offered the first line, gave it to God. He met the condition. Cain didn't meet the condition. He didn't give God his first fruit. He cut it back. He wanted to give God less. You don't give a king less, you give him the best. So the king can give back to you. You try to steal from God, would a man rob God? The scripture said, well, I will rob you, Lord, both tithes and offering. God is a guest out. He's a king. My God. My God. Bless my own self here, Lord. I got to watch my time here. I'm going to run out of, I'm gonna run out of time before I run out of this word. Come with me now. Amen. Come with me now to James. Amen. Bless God. At page 13, 17. Page 13, 17. Amen. James 2 and 19. Thou believe that there is one God. Thou believe as well. The devil believe it and tremble. Say, because you believe that one God, the devil also believe. He trembled. So just because you have a belief with no works, it ain't going to work. You got to have a belief to show that you believe. I hope y'all caught that. You got to have a work. To show that you've been saved. You can't go back doing the same thing you were doing before when you got saved. You didn't backslid. This is it, hello. What I got to do, preacher? Repent. Come back to the Lord. Let the blood cleanse you. Cry out and come. Say, Lord, I can't do it without you. I need your strength. I need your power to withstand all this stuff that's coming against me. My feet is in motion trying to control me. I need your help, Lord, to control it before it destroys me. Twenty-five. But will thou know, O vain man? Uh, look, look at that vain, it means do you uh, uh it means foolish. That's what vain means, a foolish man. Uh, now, no vain man that faith without works is dead. So you don't know that? So folks just want the faith. And they think once they get saved, that's it. No, that's a work. Man, they're teaching you right. That's why you got to get it for yourself. We're going to teach you over here the right word. Amen. I we're going to give you the, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't come here with our own teaching. Amen. I mean, we come here with the word, sir. Amen. I had a devil tell me one time. He said, you can have a large congregation if you give them something smooth. I said, ain't getting nothing smooth over here. I said, what we're going to give them is the truth so they can go free. You should know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. King James said, make free. Just go free. 
Fundrise. Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac, his son, upon altar? Seeing thou how faith wrought with his works. So he put his faith to work. He offered up his son. He could have just had faith that he was going to do it. I'll tell you what you do. Have faith they're going to pay you and don't go to work tomorrow. What today? Tomorrow is Saturday. Yeah. Those that got to go to work tomorrow. Those that got to start work Monday. There's a lot of folk right now ain't got no job. And Uncle Sam is paying them. Guess what? They want to cut that out. Then what you going to have then? Let me get back over here. Order with the notes. See now how faith wrought with his works, and by works was faith made perfect. Faith was made what? You got to perfect your faith through works. That's how you perfect it. You make your faith perfect through the works that you do that God would say. I'm a tired. I believe in paying tired. I've been paying tired. tired. Amen. Bless God. Uh, at first, when I first got saved, I was getting a lot of five dollars working at the plant. I was making good money. But I thought five dollars was pretty was enough. Till I ran into the word of God and I had to meet the condition. Had to meet the what? Mm -hmm. I had to meet the condition, brother my Lord have mercy God. And then pat my child up said, I don't preach tithes over here. If I ain't doing it, I'll be a hypocrite. I ain't no hypocrite. Thank God. He ain't made me no hypocrite. He got me out of being a hypocrite because of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac, his son upon all of See thou how faith wrought with works, and by works was faith made perfect. It perfected. Look at that twin of that And the scripture was fulfilled with said, Abraham believed God, and it was put in him for righteousness. So when you believe God and his word, it's counted to you for righteousness. When you put it to work, your faith is perfect. So you take belief and you put works with it, it's all in. You've completed the condition. I say you've met the condition. He was called the friend of God. Amen. You see that how then by works is a man is justified. So I'm justified by my work. Jesus Christ said, if I be in my house, Amen. On his word, I'm going to stand. If I don't bear his word, I'm going to build it on sand plan. I'm going to fall. Because I didn't do, I didn't need the condition to make my house stand through the storm. Put it for like, Likewise, also was not Rahab, amen, a heart justified by works when she had received the messenger and had sent them out another way. This is a holla. This is a whore. Amen. Bless God. But she met the condition. Amen. Bless God. She had a fear of God. Amen. And she shot the spy that as the children of Israel that came into the, into the city. Amen. It was looking for her. And the lady sent him another way and spared that lie. She could have gave him over to the people in that city. But this lady had faith she feared God, and God spared her life because she put her faith to work. Put it say, God, but as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without the uh, without works is dead also. If I don't put my faith to work, it's dead. I ain't gonna go nowhere. Amen. A amen. I ain't got no. I ain't got no word. Amen. To keep me alive. I don't have nothing to keep me standing now. I don't have nothing to help me fight. Lord, how much that? I need the word of God. Amen. To cut the enemy of with. Amen. That's part of the soul of the spirit. Amen. And, and, amen. Put on the whole arm of God. Amen. Is using his word. Amen. And working it. We can make conditions. You take your spirit. Once it leaves your body. I don't care how good your mother, I don't care how many muscles you got. And look here, sister, I don't care how fine you can look like a Coke bottle. Amen. But when, when that spirit is gone, I don't care how beautiful you look. Amen. That's what. You go down in the ground and you're going to turn back to dirt. I don't know why people lusting after dirt. I look at a lady and they say, What you think about her? I say, Ain't nothing but dirt walking around. You ain't going to get me lust after. Because I know one day she got to go. 
I want to know, I know one day when he got to go. I don't care how many muscles he got. I don't care how good he looked. I don't care how fast he can run. I don't care how many balls he can catch. I don't care what kind of quarterback he is. One day, he's going to get old. He ain't going to never throw that ball. You heard what Brother Mike said? You're born to live, and you're born to die. We're all passing through. So I got to meet the conditions to get where I got to go. My destiny is to be with God. Uh-oh, we're not out of word. We're right out of time again. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap, amen, for you. I got to meet the condition. Amen.